welcome to indian thoughts shining wings channel kindly tune to our website for hundreds of motivational stories in text audio and video i am joseph episode 71 in and out mohsen fakhrizade mohabdi from iran was a renowned nuclear physicist who also was the chief coordinator of iran's nuclear programs It is natural that others especially advanced countries never appreciate everybody making nuclear weapons. He was always on high security but on November 27, 2020 he was shot dead when he was on an outing with his wife. The, the wife who sat near him in the sedan was not hurt. It was clear that the attack was AI artificial intelligence controlled and the shot was triggered from many hundreds of miles away. AI is slowly picking up and more people are specializing in AI. AI controlled machines think like us and respond intelligently. The idea is very crucial in robotics. But this question is there. If Fakrisita was not safe, who else in this world is? Here, a bullet is possible from any corner, any time. It can even happen through a satellite spotting us on the basis of the mobile phone we carry or our source security or other card number. The next story shows us the nature of our relationship with others that we all are supposed to follow. The story begins with a lady student in Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. She was pursuing her postgraduate degree with a plan of migrating to the USA. She was already granted a scholarship in a US institute. One day, she saw a telco interview announcement on the college notice board. It was noted that ladies need not apply. This provoked this lady heavily. She took a postcard and wrote to them. I have heard that you have initiated many good things. Is it actually the way telco things? Blah, 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 blah. She posted it to the address she knew. Some 10 days passed by and she got a telegram asking her to report at Pune for the telco interview at the company expenses. She was shocked. She, however, decided to attend the same. Those days, Pune was a textile hub and saris were comparatively cheap there. So, so with enough purchase orders for saris, she started off to Pune. She least expected anything positive from telco. She knew that she already had irritated them. But her interview was beautiful and... and Delco announced that Ms. Sutha Murthy was appointed. In her autobiographical notes, wise and otherwise, she has written about her interactions with this great man, J.R.D. Tata. One day after her marriage, she was waiting for her husband coming to pick her up. J.R.D. Tata happened to see her waiting on the official veranda alone. He waited there near her until her husband arrived. In spite of all her love for Telco, she decided to resign her job. All accounts and deals closed, she was walking down the stairs of Bombay House. Surprisingly, she saw J.R.D. Tata walking up. Tata stopped near her and asked her, Where are you going? Pune Sudha also told him that she resigned because her husband was planning to start a new company called Infosys. What would you be doing if your company grows? Tata asked her. She replied, Sir, I don't know whether we will be successful. Never start with diffidence. Always start with confidence. When you grow up, don't ever forget to repay the society. We have profusely taken from it. All the best, Tata said and continued walking up. Remember that these were the mantras on which Infosys was built. According to Sudha Murthy, Tata had given her one more mantra. That is, competition is always with oneself, not with anybody else. His dream was a club where there is enough space for everybody. All those who could win to some degrees shall also learn to repay abundantly. Any blog we create virtually obstructs the flow of divine grace through us. Thank you all for patiently watching this. Meet you again.